Amanda and I'm a trainer at Mind Apples and I'm just wondering how you're doing. We're all living in these really uncertain times at the moment and our minds will be working hard to try and protect us. And when we're living with uncertainty we can sometimes have feelings of anxiety or anger or stress and this is our mind trying to help us feel safe. If you think about it from an evolutionary perspective Back in the day, we would be being chased by a saber-toothed tiger. And of course, our fight or flight would need to kick in. We want to run away from it or fight the tiger to maintain our safety. So unfortunately, our minds haven't really evolved to deal with modern day stress. And whenever we feel threatened, our fight or flight kicks in. We feel a surge of adrenaline, which can lead to anxiety or stress. And this is totally normal. Now, this can become problematic when it affects our communication. So feeling angry or stressed can really have an impact on how you communicate with people at home and at work. And what our mind does is it focuses on the negatives. Now, if you think of it from an evolutionary perspective, again, it's useful. We should focus on the negatives. If we're being chased by a tiger, we need to focus on the tiger to keep ourselves safe. So now when we're being um, threatened by deadlines at work, or our uncertain future, our mind still wants to focus on it to keep ourselves feeling safe. So have you ever been in an argument with somebody or had a, a disagreement with somebody where they keep bringing things up from the past and you think, why, that was, that was a year ago or that was two years ago, why are you bringing that up? And that's because our mind, when we're in a negative mood, really focuses on these negative feelings and reminds us of when we felt like this before. So this can really lead to conflict and arguments when we're feeling these negative feelings and we want to express them or remind ourselves about all the negativity. So we have some tips for you. We have some top tips for how to avoid conflict and argument when you're feeling like this. So the first tip is to use I statements. So we may be tempted to say, you're making me angry. A better way to say this would be to say, I'm feeling angry and taking responsibility rather than placing the blame on somebody else, which could lead to defensiveness. The second tip is to stick to the facts. So you may want to say to somebody, you're not listening to me. Um, this may not be true, uh, but you could say what's happening. So you may say, you're still looking at your phone, um, which has led you to believe they're not listening, but the actual fact of the matter is their behavior. So state their behavior. You're looking at your phone. Be specific. You may be tempted to say you always do this or you always behave this way when really we could say something like this is a third time we've had this conversation or this is the third time you have done this. And also try and have an open dialogue and use open questions. So rather than saying to somebody, will you change? You could ask them, what do you think of this conversation? What are your thoughts on this subject? And they're just four tips that can maybe help avoid conflict and arguments and help communication at home and at work. So I hope that was helpful for you. Keep coming back to see us. We've got lots of tips and uh, videos to share with you. And we just want to remind you that negative emotions are completely normal and can be really helpful. It's how we manage them that matters. Mm -hmm.